Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Verma. I'm a lead cloud architect at Red River and I focus on cloud infrastructure and platform services. In this video series, we'll be taking a closer look at the pillars of a well-architected framework recommended by AWS and how Red River utilizes them for our cloud assessment services. This session is specifically geared towards how Red River focuses on cost optimization aspects of the assessment. We start the assessment with a usage awareness evaluation to ensure a good visibility has been enabled into all resources, their utilization, and their cost. Here, we assess implementations of applicable resource tracking mechanisms, the budgets, alerts, reports, dashboards, and other cost management tools. We pay very close attention to this part of the assessment as we have witnessed potentials for cloud sprawl. Decommissioning old resources is an important consideration, and for this, we evaluate backup data, log data, storage volume, et cetera, and ensure proper lifecycle management policies are enforced. In fact, for some customers, we reduce the cloud sprawl and help them save about 30% on their annual consumption. The cloud workload is then reviewed for cost efficient options where services, resources, the implemented data transfer mechanisms are all evaluated for possibilities of enhancements. For example, Compute architecture is reviewed to see if the SSL and TLS processing can be offloaded to load balances to save on EC2 compute cycles. For data transfer optimization, AWS public services are checked to see if they can be transitioned into an endpoint based service. For the transfer cost reduction further, uh, some databases choices can be more beneficial and caching mechanisms can provide some relief as well. All of these are evaluated as part of this assessment. We finally shift our focus to new services that could potentially offer optimization to the deployed resources and services. This is where transitions from EC2 to managed platform services is evaluated. Here, we also look to see if there is any savings that can be had by right sizing, uh, utilizing reserve instances, or leveraging any cost savings plan. Licensing options with bring your own licenses could also provide potential savings over marketplace based licenses. And all these assessments are performed at a regular cadence for our managed services customer. Well, this is a short summary of how Red River's public cloud assessment evaluates cost optimization. To learn about other cloud assessment pillars, please check out our other videos in the series. Thank you and have a great day.